Fellas, I wanted to do a video on this unit. This is a 2022 unit. It's been serving us well, but my regulars know my luck with 22s isn't so hot. So the point of this video, I wanted you to do, assist you to distinguish between a failing engine, yes, a failing engine, and uh, an EGR valve issue. Um, they're kind of, they're, they're similar in, in, in a way, but two distinguishing factors I would like to talk about. So as you can tell, this is six of, come on buddy, focus, six of 22. This unit has 45,000 miles, served us well up until the last month. It's been, it's been having pending codes, um, codes about EGR and codes about the, uh, frequency of the regeneration and it's not happy about and guess what you don't get a check engine light you get a few things we'll talk about it one of the one of the distinguishing factors is a cold start uh, i promise I'll, I'll, I'll stay as focused as i can and i'll go down the list and make this as quick as possible let's preheat this uh engine this thing has been shut down for a couple days it's 41 degrees man what is the deal this thing ain't focusing today it's 41 degrees outside. All righty. The, just bear with me, just listen up. Fires right up, perfectly fine cold start. Nothing out of, out of ordinary. I hate it guys, if you, could, if you could find a way to shut that beaker off in 22s, I'd greatly appreciate it in the comment section. Help us all, 22 owners. Nothing wrong, nothing out of the ordinary with the way this thing runs. A little, and I mean a little rough, but it's a cold engine. You know, what are we, 20, ah, about 30 seconds into, into the start. It runs just fine. This is perfectly fine, and I'm happy with this unit. But, she bucks. Under light throttle, this truck bucks. And it, it, it's uh, fairly consistent, about 75-80% percent of the time what i was going to tell you is about that message there if you guys didn't notice this thing is running on 17.5's commercial set i always wanted to try them never never cared enough to actually invest money into it Man, what's going on with me gotta go get some water never cared enough to invest some money into it uh but came across the set 1800 bucks you can't go wrong so they're like 90 percent life on them so anywho's that's why you got the message. Um, man, I miss the four gens, not only for the reliability, but the simplicity of those sensors, man. If they work, they just kind of auto hook up and everything is good to go. On these fifth gens, you got to hook them up. Guys, give me a five minute, a five second break, please. Got to have a drink of water there. Getting the hiccups. Either I'm getting cold or something's going on around here. All right. So another factor for those 22s. If you're new to the channel, go check out some of my other videos. I've been having a hell of a ride with these 22s. Uh, anyways. Oh, by the way, I heard from the dealership a couple days ago on the last one that I took in to get the engine done. I should do a video, but so far so good, guys. The engine's getting overhauled. I'm making the best out of it, but staying focused on this one. This one, I am firmly strongly convinced there's nothing wrong with this engine besides the EGR. Um, one that, on the back side of when your engine fails, you are going to have bucking under light throttle. With this one, 75% of the time, at really light throttle, or really light XL, it's going to start uh, jolting, bucking. I just say light bucking, because it, that's what it does, kind of misfires. Um, another thing to distinguish it is big one is the cold start but also when you rub up the engine you don't hear anything abnormal nothing needs to recover i know the engine's a little cold but she runs just fine guys she runs perfectly fine so they do share the code of frequent regeneration they do uh regen fairly frequently but the big telltale sign is the way she idles. You see how she's uh, 
I test drove this thing when I just had a hair under a quarter. Oh, it was completely empty. I took the first test drive and it went a quarter. Then after my second one, it, it gave me a little bit more. If you're new to these 22s, 22s change the intake filter number. So with that in mind, I put a brand new one. Um, just threw out the old one. The old one had like 3,000 miles on it. Threw that one out and put specifically. Uh, I just wanted to triple check that I have the right filter. Um, that's also something that will uh, trigger a frequent regen. So keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, uh, the last parallel I was going to say, when you throttle on this thing, you give it heavier throttle, she goes, she moves, she's just fine. It's specifically that light throttle, which uh, is the reason I'm so calm about it, if you could call it that, that it's just an EGR valve. Hence the code, but the codes kind of mislead sometimes. Uh, so, if you're out there and your engine, you know, your vehicle's bucking a little bit, don't freak out. You're just, that's what the video's about. Kind of trying to help to distinguish those two. Um, but yeah, cold start and under heavy throttle, how she responds and how she runs. They do share two common denominators, both throw a code of uh, frequent regions and both throw a code uh, uh, both have the similarities that light bucking under throttle as I said the chick engine did come on this thing twice uh, for a short period of time but this whole process because she's hooked up to an ELD device that's not there um, it consistently you know lives feeds the, the computer the main computer in the office saying that it has a pending code these are the codes there's three of them I can't remember third one was but it was something along the lines frequency of the regen it was too kind of big big it was false let me know what else you want to know about these 22s in the comment section meanwhile i'm just keeping y'all informed that's the whole point of this video the more action or the more uh, views and movement we get on this channel the more sure. you know, that's how it all started one day paul got bored and made a video and all of a sudden he saw these views he's like well if they're watching i'll keep posting so that's the game plan guys just keep sharing watching these things and i'll keep posting that's my promise to you thick or thin slow or fast i'll keep uploading for you i know that you guys out there that own these 22s it's sketchy it's you know y'all have a lot of questions i get you know phone calls emails fairly often about it and that's what i'm doing for you just keeping you updated and sharing my experience with you as always may the lord bless you may the almighty fine day ciao bye